myself Shachida from Department of Computer Science. Today, I am going to discuss uh, about a new matrix, orthogonal matrix. Then just before that, first of all, what is a matrix? A matrix is a, you know, uh, is a rectangular arrangement of uh, some elements or some numbers in terms of rows and columns. So, for example, we can say A is equal to matrix A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M. This is a matrix and uh, we here we have three rows and four columns and also the order is denoted as uh, 3 by 4. 3 is the number of rows and 4 is the number of columns. So, that is a matrix and here this is a orthogonal matrix and what is the orthogonal matrix? First of all, let A be a square matrix, A be a square matrix and A is said to be orthogonal, A is said to be orthogonal if A inverse is equal to A transpose a square matrix A is said to be orthogonal if A inverse is equal to A transpose, where A inverse we can find out by using the formula adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. So, that is determinant of A is not equal to 0 that is the additional condition. A inverse exists only if determinant A not equal to 0. And also, if determinant A not equal to 0, we can say that that matrix square matrix A is invertible. So, a square matrix is said to be invertible if determinant of A not equal to 0. Okay. And then, A is a square matrix, then that is said to be orthogonal. The condition is that if A inverse is equal to A transpose and A, tra A inverse we can find by using this formula and A transpose. A transpose means transposing the rows and columns of the square matrix A. Okay. So, then also we know that A into A inverse that is equal to the identity matrix. That means, a square matrix A into the corresponding inverse matrix that is equal to identity and also uh, can be written as A inverse into A. Okay. So, this already we know this condition A into A inverse is equal to I that is equal to A inverse into A. Then here A is orthogonal means the condition is that A inverse is equal to A transpose. Just substitute here A instead of A inverse as A transpose. Therefore, this equation becomes A into A transpose is equal to I and that is equal to A transpose into A. So, we can say that a square matrix A is said to be orthogonal if one condition A inverse is equal to A transpose and the second condition we can say that A A transpose is equal to I that is equal to A transpose into A. Okay. Then we can take one example. A B A square matrix A is equal to is an A 2 by 2 matrix that means 2 rows and 2 columns that is a cos theta sin theta, minus sin theta and cos theta. For example, we can take this A as cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta, cos theta and then we can write the corresponding transpose, A transpose by rearranging the rows and columns. That means, we will get cos theta, minus sin theta, then sin theta, cos theta. Okay, so, A here, then A transpose here, we can verify this is correct or not. So, A into A transpose, just to multiply together A into A transpose, that is equal to cos theta into sin theta minus sin theta into cos theta, then into cos theta minus sin theta, then sin theta cos theta. Then this multiply together and uh, the matrix multiplication gives uh, take the first row and uh, first column of the second matrix, first row of the first matrix and uh, first column of the second matrix and then multiply the corresponding elements and add together. 
So, we will get the corresponding matrix multiplication. And the first row in the first column gives the first element of the product. So, A, A transpose. We can write this one as. So, A, A transpose. We can write this one as cos theta, cos theta into cos theta. That is cos square theta. And plus sin theta into sin theta, the corresponding elements multiplication and then add together. And then first row, first column gives first element. Then first row, second column, corresponding elements multiplication and then add together, then we will get the second element. So, we will get cos theta into minus sin theta, that is minus cos theta sin theta. Then plus cos theta into cos theta into minus sin theta first row first column and first row into second column that is cos theta into minus sin theta plus sin theta into cos theta and uh, take the second column the second row second row that is minus sin theta into cos theta plus minus sin theta cos theta plus cos theta into sin theta then second um, row into second column minus sin theta into minus sin theta gives sin square theta and plus cos theta into cos theta that gives cos square theta. So, we got the product A into A transpose that is equal to then also we know that one identity trigonometric identity cos square theta plus sin square theta that is equal to 1. So, we can uh, substitute this value that is 1 and uh, this is minus cos theta sin theta plus sin theta cos theta that is uh, um, the same element with the opposite uh, sign. So, we can cancel together we will get 0. Similarly, here also we can cancel then 0 and here the same identity that is 1. So, we got uh, this is the identity matrix of order 2. So, when we multiply these together that is A into A transpose, A into A transpose we got uh, the identity, A into A transpose we got the identity. And similarly, we can prove that A transpose into A is equal to identity. Similarly, we can prove that A transpose into A is equal to identity. Therefore, we can say that uh, a, A transpose is equal to identity that is equal to A transpose into A. Therefore, we can say a square matrix A is said to be orthogonal if A A transpose is equal to identity and also is equal to A transpose into A. Okay. Therefore, uh, an orthogonal matrix uh, uh, one condition is that uh, A is said to be orthogonal if it is uh, A inverse is equal to A that is one condition and also another condition um, square matrix A is said to be orthogonal if A into A transpose is equal to the identity that is also equal to A transpose into A. Then when we get a square matrix any square matrix of any order may be three order then our uh, second order we can uh, multiply these together and prove that the answer is i. If you get uh, after multiply together with A and A transpose if you get the identity matrix then we can see that uh, that matrix A is orthogonal. Okay. So, orthogonal condition is uh, these together. For every square matrices we can check whether that matrix is orthogonal or not. Okay. So, we got the definition of orthogonal matrix and based on this we have one theorem that means the theorem. If A and B are any two orthogonal square matrices, orthogonal square matrices or simply we can say that orthogonal matrices orthogonal matrices, then the product A B and B A are orthogonal. If A and B are orthogonal matrices and then product A B and B A are orthogonal. So, we can prove this theorem. Then proof. 
here we have two conditions are given. First condition is A is orthogonal. Given that A is orthogonal implies the condition is that A transpose is equal to A inverse, A is orthogonal. And similarly, B is orthogonal, condition is that B inverse is equal to B, B transpose, B inverse is equal to B transpose. So, A is orthogonal, the condition is B is orthogonal, B inverse is equal to B transpose. So, given that A and B are two orthogonal matrices, then based on this uh, um, condition, we have to prove that the product AB and the product BA are also orthogonal. Then here A is orthogonal, A is orthogonal means A inverse is equal to A transpose. Anyway, the inverse of A exists. The inverse of A exists means A inverse is equal to adjoint of A by determinant of A and provided the condition is that determinant A not equal to 0. So, since A is orthogonal, A inverse exists and we have determinant A not equal to 0 determinant A not equal to 0, we can say that A is invertible. So, one matrix is said to be invertible that means it is a determinant not equal to 0, invertible means it is inverse exists. And similarly, B is orthogonal, B inverse is equal to B transpose. Similarly, we can say that B inverse exists that is a adjoint of B divided by determinant of B then the condition is that determinant of B is not equal to 0. So, B inverse is equal to add to B by determinant of B, determinant of B not equal to 0, determinant of B not equal to 0, then also we can say B is invertible. So, we got A is invertible as well as B is invertible, determinant A not equal to 0, determinant B not equal to 0. Then, now, determinant of, we have to prove that uh, uh, the product A B and product B A are orthogonal. So, uh, take uh, determinant of A B, determinant of A B we can say that determinant of A into determinant of B. Since A and B are orthogonal, determinant A not equal to 0, determinant B not equal to 0, then here we can say that the product is also determinant A into determinant B is also not equal to 0. Therefore, this implies that determinant of A B is not equal to 0, determinant A B not equal to 0. Therefore, determinant A B uh, the A B inverse exists, determinant A B not equal to 0, then A B inverse exists. A B inverse exists. So, A B is uh, invertible. Similarly, we can say that determinant of B A is equal to determinant of B into determinant of A and that is also not equal to 0 and we can say that uh, determinant of B A not equal to 0. Therefore, B A inverse, B A inverse is also exist. So, uh, product A B is invertible, product B A is invertible, both inverse exist. Okay. Then we have to prove that uh, the product A B is orthogonal, that means then to prove that A B is orthogonal. That is to prove that A B the whole inverse is equal to A B the whole transpose. By using the definition of orthogonal matrix, you know uh, A inverse is equal to A transpose. Here we have to prove that A B is orthogonal, that means A B the whole inverse is equal to A B the transpose. Then now take the LHS, then A B inverse is equal to and by using the definition of inverses, we can reverse the inverse, B inverse into A inverse, B inverse into A inverse and uh, by using, by using the definition of inverse, by using properties of inverse. Then, 
So, B inverse into A inverse, then uh, since B is orthogonal, B inverse is equal to B transpose, A is orthogonal, A inverse is uh, uh, equal to A transpose. So, we can say that this uh, we can uh, B transpose into A transpose, we can write the reason here since uh, uh, B inverse is equal to B transpose, A inverse is equal to A transpose since A and B are orthogonal that is the given condition. And uh, then we can say again the properties of the transpose we can write this one as A B the whole transpose since uh, A B the whole transpose is equal to B transpose into A transpose. By using this property we can rewrite the here therefore we can write this one as A B the whole inverse is equal to A B the whole transpose. Therefore, A B is orthogonal, we got the same condition of the orthogonal that means A B the whole inverse is equal to A B the transpose. Then similarly, we can prove that the product B A is also orthogonal that means, we have to prove that uh, uh, B A the whole inverse is equal to B A transpose. Then to prove that B A is orthogonal, that is to prove that B A the whole inverse is equal to the whole inverse is equal to B A transpose. Okay, in the same procedure, and then take the LHS. We have B A the whole inverse is equal to um, by using the properties of the inverse again. We can reverse the inverses. That means A inverse into B inverse, and uh, uh, you know A inverse is equal to A transpose by since uh, the A is orthogonal, and also B inverse is equal to B transpose since uh, B is uh, orthogonal. So by using the same definition here, by using the same definition definition we can write this one as A transpose into B transpose. And also by using the same property of the transpose, reverse the transpose therefore, we can write this one as B A the whole transpose. Since we can write this one as B A transpose is equal to A transpose into B transpose. And therefore, we got B A the whole inverse is equal to B A the whole transpose. Therefore, we got the condition of the orthogonal matrix say the product B A inverse is equal to B A transpose. Therefore, the product B A is also orthogonal. Therefore, we prove the uh, two statements that is the product if A and B are orthogonal matrices then the product A B and B A are also orthogonal. Thank you.